a pretty quiet week in crypto as you guys can see here on monday we're pretty much flat and then tuesday we ran up to um highs that we haven't seen in since around mid june we went up as high as thirty six thousand six hundred before then returning back down now on tuesday's live stream we spoke about this exact pullback here and how we needed a pullback in order to make a higher low so that we can continue on that accumulation schematic pattern so today we're going to go ahead and take a look at that and see what we can expect this weekend let's dive right in Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to get up to that next level. So make sure to smash the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So I want to start this video off with a big Big thank you to all of you guys that are subscribed to the channel. We finally reached that 10,000 subscriber milestone. It's been a long journey of about 10 months so far, and we've got 10,000 in 10 months. So let's keep it going and see if we can hit 11,000 in 11 months. Again, thank you guys so much. I am truly humbled and I appreciate every single one of you. So you will see that over the last 24 hours, the market is more or less green slash pretty much flat, really. Over the last seven days, we are pretty much in the green though. Fear and greed index is still in extreme fear, currently at 21. So currently, you will see that we're just below that 35,000 level that we've been uh, speaking about, uh, currently at $33,000. Now, is that bullish or bearish is probably what many of you have are asking right now and have been asking. So I'm going to say that this is bullish and here's why. Remember we spoke about this current pattern right here where we've been, we had a low, higher low, and then we spoke about this on Tuesday where we were looking to set a new higher low. So as long as we were above this price right here, the pattern is still intact. And that's currently where we've been. So the bottom here is $30,000. As long as we don't go all the way down to $30,000, this pattern is still intact. Uh, you'll see that we've also been hitting highs and higher highs with lows, higher, higher lows and even higher lows. So this pattern is still intact here. This is all part of the process. We're still good here. Now that main level is still going to be here 35 K. We still need to get above 35 K, but it is possible for us to still, you know, to re to pull back a little bit more, maybe even as low as 32,000 or something like that. Right? So let's go ahead and take a look back at that Wyckoff accumulation schematic that we've drawn up here. We've moved it around a little bit to kind of fit with the schematic here. You can see here, we have it set up exactly how it is here. So currently we're in phase C, which is called the spring and test, right? And if we look here, phase C, the spring and test. So the test is, let's see, the spring goes below the supports, below the selling climax, moves up, does the test, right? So let's see, we have the spring where we went below the selling climax, then we went up and we did the test. We, we touched that bottom support, right? And jumped back up, set up a higher high, right? So after the test, we set up a higher high, we come back down one more time to set up a higher low. And that's exactly what's happening here. Now, if you look at this, and you look at this, you see that the that last higher low support actually touches the top of this support line, which we have not done yet. We can see here we have we're still way up here. So that top of that support line would actually be around that thirty one thousand dollar range. OK, currently the lowest we've gone was around thirty two thousand. So we still could possibly see some a push to the downside 
um, maybe the 32,000. We don't have to get exactly to 31, but we could see something where we test this area down here, uh, possibly over the weekend before we go into phase D, which will launch us back up to that $40,000 range. You see here that there's a test, then there's one last time we, we hit that support line and then we kind of take off kind of into this middle and we have a pullback there, right? So we kind of see that same thing where we can test the bottom, take off possibly to around 38,000 and then test 35K and then continue up to 40 to 42K. And that would fall in line exactly with this pattern. So again, we're watching to see what develops, but so far it has been following the exact schematic, basically move for move, as you guys can see here, as we flip back and forth between these two. Now, of course, guys, nothing is ever guaranteed. And we know that. So, you know, we're just looking for high probability setups here, right? We're trying to figure out what's going to happen and try to find a way to uh, get the highest probability in our favor so that if we take a trade, we can make money, right? So right now we're not taking any short term trades here. The only thing that we're doing right now is adding to our long term positions. So we add to our long term positions every Monday and we add to our long term positions anytime there's drops to support levels. So a drop to support level would be like this one right here. We added there around that 30,000 range. And again, down here, that $28,000 range, two different support and strong support levels. And we added on both of those. So those two we add for our long term, then uh, moves like we had this week where we broke above 35,000. That's where we take short term trades with leverage to make some extra profits and make some extra Bitcoin. Now, when there's no setups, we can't take trades, right? So right now what we're doing, we're just kind of watching. We're not looking to enter anything here because that's just the middle of nowhere, right? So what we want to see is a break above 35K, right? If we get a move back up and above 35K, that'll kind of print this as the new higher low. And we should theoretically be expecting a higher high here. So that higher high beyond 36 will probably be $38,000. So that's the trade that we're currently looking for a bounce back above 35,000. And we would take that with that momentum and write it up, try to write it up to 38,000. Now, a push back down, like we said, you know, at that point, we're only adding to our long term positions. We're not taking any short entries. We're not taking any leverage entries, period there. Um, but if we see a push below 30,000 or below 28,000, especially 28, we could possibly be looking to take some short leveraged entries. But again, these are a little more on the riskier side so you have to be careful there because with a move back down to 30 or 28 there will be a lot of volatility involved in that move but that's pretty much it guys thank you guys so much again um sorry that we haven't been able to put out more content this week we've had a few issues that we've been having to resolve this week so um thank you guys for your patience again Thank you guys so much for 10,000 subs. It means the world to us over here at Bitcoin Daily. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you have any questions about anything, don't forget to drop it in the comments. And if you just want to tell us anything, again, drop it in the comments. We're always reading the comments and trying to answer everything if we have an answer for you. Thank you guys so much. Have an incredible weekend. I will see you guys on Monday as always. Peace and love. And by the way, if you're in the U.S., happy 4th of July.